Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a sniper scope on iMovie. Okay, so first of what you want to do is create a new project. Just, and then once you create a new project, call it whatever you want. Make some wine. Sniper. Um, and then just go no theme and create. And then once you've created import your footage so drag drop um, and I'll just change that that was just an error and then okay I'll play the footage what I've done when you're filming your footage say so it helps to say the word bang because then your actor knows when to when he's been shot and you can face that part of the body. Also it also helps if you put crosshairs on your camera. So that's just my footage. Okay. So first of all what you want to know to do is you wanna get your sniper scope. I've already got mine, but I'll show you how to do it. You go to Sky, Google, you type in Google Image Advanced Search. Google Image Advanced Search. And then, yep, get the top that one. Okay, all these words just start in sniper scope. And then what you want to do is you want to get go to file type, any format. You want a PNG file. Basically, all a PNG file is is just a file that is see through. So, so just get find a scope. Um, the way I tell it um see through easily is when you click and drag them. If you see there. It's not white in the background, the white formed. Yeah, if you have the white, it's going to cover you. So once you've got your image, save it to wherever. I've saved mine to the desktop. Just show you how to do that. Right click, save image to download, save image as, whatever. Okay, so I've got mine on my desktop. Now, what you want to do is you want to get that image, which is this simple quick image, and drag it down onto it and then go picture in picture for some people this might not work because what you have to do first is go this does not work it doesn't say picture in picture go to iMovie preferences and it shows advanced tools because it gives you the wide variety what I just got okay. make sure it's clicked and I just leave it on all the time because it makes iMovie a better software to use okay so I put it in picture Picture. I'm going to go the whole film. I probably want that in my whole film. So, drag and cross. Yep. And now, here, over here, we go. You can, once you get the image in, just you can click on it, drag it around, just go full screen, line that up. That. Yeah, once you've got that lined up. Okay. Not perfect. But anyway, I know it's amazing to be glitchy. And anyway, once you've got line, that lined up, you should just cover your screen and look like. Um, look like this anyway. Yep, and then I Bang! Bang! I didn't line that up properly here because that's what the reason you're seeing around the edges. You've just got to line that up better. Bang! And see how it's not Bang! focused on him. Oh, well, that's easy to change. You just have to double click on this. 
As you can see, my quite online. Bang! You change this by go onto your video. Just make sure it's clicked onto your video and then crop. And you best to go to the point where we shot we've shot them when you press crop. Just right click. Crop it and then try moving this over a bit. Make it smaller so you can move it around. And I'll move mine to about there. See how it is. And then play. Bang! Okay, I've still got to move mine a little bit more. And once you've done it, your product should look like this. If you have trouble lining up the second one, just split the clip, right click, split clip, and then you can crop that separately from the other one. Um, yeah, with what I last showed you. Okay, then once you've done that, you want to quit the audio. So, um, right click, sorry, double click, audio, then down to zero percent done so you get this okay and then you want to get a a gun noise of such so to do that you can find them on the internet um, wherever you want just go sniper sounds um, um, yeah, you'll find the website, I guess, and then, um, I've got one marked, my bookmarks. Okay, once you've found one, go down to, uh, anyone, I guess. I can post this URL if you want, I'll post it into under my video clip. Okay. I've found this one. So what you do now is the, probably the most e the easiest way to do it would be go back to your clip um and find when you want the shot. Okay. And then go record. And you have to click click start recording so and it find it about there. What are you doing, Dad? What are you doing, Dad? Just making a video. What, darling? Making a video. On yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, you editing it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so this is my rifle shot. Okay, got it. And go record. Click about there. Okay. So you know you can edit that. Split clip, delete that one, and split clip, delete that one. Okay, but we have to move it forward now. Okay, drag the way you want it. Once you've done that, on both is, uh, your videos. Because you've got it right. You've got it right.
And if you wanted to, you could probably add a reload thing. I've done one here just to show you what it is like. If you wanted to also make a video, like a theme to it, or how, like thermal, um, this is probably the closest you get to it. Double click on your video, not your sniper scope, and then go to video effect, grab that, and go to net. Oh, you could do any, just look for negative, is your film. Um, or X ray. Um, sometimes I use heat wave. Oh, so no, science fiction. That gives a bit of a moonscape. Or, um, I have used hard light, day and night, or, um, yeah, it's, that's the scope. Yeah, I've used rate before. Anyway, figure that out and do whatever you want. Um, yeah, and then you can do pretty much. Yeah, if you want to change your coloring, um, it to like better colors, or you can just just this, make the colors better. Yeah, you can do all that like yourself if you want to. Anyway, and then non. Um, to make it, if you want to do a blood splat, okay, first you have to go to share, and then, like, you want to put more than one, um, picture, in picture, into your thing, so you, if you want to do one, you have to do share to iTunes, then grab your video out of iTunes, drag it back into the event, then put it down there, it'll just be a video, they'll have, it'll have none of this, this will all be in it, and then you can go on the internet, so PNG, blood splat, well, I showed you how to do for the snuff scope and add and it we want to um okay thanks for watching subscribe like comment if you want me to do more tutorials um I can do anything pretty much if I maybe whatever you need you can ask things but